Hey there, Twinkles. Heading back into the throne world? Gonna hope Savathun left some tips about beating Zivu you can peek at. Because from where I'm sitting, Eris doesn't have a clue. I don't think you realize how lost you'd be without Savathun's plan. Even dead, she's smarter than you. She had it all figured out years ago. Take the Traveler, seal it away, keep it hidden from the witness, clean and easy. But there's nothing you Guardians hate more than a plan you're not the center of. So you stormed the gates. Liberated your darling Traveler, and put it exactly where the witness knew you would. And now, here we are, with everything pretty much ruined. So go ahead. Keep trying to outsmart Savathun when she's just trying to undo all the damage you've done. The Traveler didn't make a mistake when it chose the Hive. It was fixing the mistake it made when it chose you. Welcome back, Sloan. It's good to be back. But from Masa's impressions, I guess this isn't a social call. Unfortunately not. What do you know about Eris's plan? Only that she and Asa are bound by some kind of hive ritual. I was against it, but like Asa said, sometimes we have to become our enemies to defeat them. That's exactly what concerns me. Sloan, I need to speak with her. No. Asa's done enough for the Vanguard. She's barely recovered from... I will speak. Bound by covenant. Tithes held between... A current... You're helping Eris contain the energy from the tithes. Eroding. Hollowing. Release in time. Or remain bound without end. If the ritual goes on for too long, Eris will be trapped as a hive. And Asa will be corrupted, twisted into something horrible. Ikora, I'll tear the tower to the ground before I let anything happen to her. It won't come to that, Sloan. I promise.
Guardian, I have been taking time to reflect on Ikora's conversation with Sloane and Asa. I knew there would be torment in embracing the Hive and the poisonous squall of their violence. I thought myself prepared for it. I have lived long in Shadow, and the shrieking horrors of the Hive would provide solace from my quotidian dreams. When I named the worms, I evoked only their resonance, but Asa responded. She is a willing and vital catalyst to empower my morph, but her pain is real and immense. My aim in this grotesque conversion was to shoulder the risk myself. But feeding from Asa's suffering, that is a line I did not think I would cross. Guardian, keep by my side so that we may soon leave these deeds behind us. I refuse to become something I am not. extract their sustenance from between what is and what might be, between the actual and the possible. When the Hive made their ill-fated pact with these worms, they gained immortality and the power to make of the world as they willed. Few beings in this universe derive their power this way. The Queen of the Reef believes it is the same method as the Ahamkara, the Wish Dragons were too dangerous to exist. So is Zivu Arath. My connection to Asa is regrettable. But this was the only path towards my goal. I invoked the worms, and she answered. And did you know that this would happen? It was possible, as all things are possible with this kind of power. This bond has not been attempted since the Worm Gods made their bargain with Witness. Asa may have rejected it then, but the desire to overpower the universe with one's will is woven into her being. She is not beholden to it, not addicted or enslaved. The Deep is not her nature, but I have tangled myself within this desire through the use of the Staff's larva. Now I possess her power. This could kill both of you. That risk is ours to take. 